Hi there, today let's see if we can't give you some nice variations to one of the first songs you probably ever learned on the banjo. The melody to the song Boylem Cabbage Town can be traced back to as early as the 1760s in the British Isles. It's been performed by many famous people, including these gentlemen, the Smothers Brothers, who in the middle of the song decided to argue whether there were any pumas in the crevices. I always stress that it's imperative to know the chords to any song that you intend to play variations to. So here are the chords to Boilem Cabbage as we will play them. It is traditionally played in the key of A for fiddles and mandolins, therefore you would need to learn it with a capo, but we will play it without. To fully understand how the variations will work, it's important to know what the melody is. So the original melody to the song is this right here. Starts on the note B, which is in the G chord. Boil them cabbage down, turn them whole cakes brown. Only song that I could sing is boil them cabbage down. At this point, you probably have been distracted by wondering just what the heck is a hoe cake. So the tradition has it that you took some cornmeal, as if your boiled cabbage wasn't a good enough meal in itself, and you took your cornmeal and you firmed it all down, and then you put it on your hoe, and by putting it up over the fire, you turned your hoe cake brown. The next step will be to figure out how to get your melody notes into your banjo rolls. Beginning on the second string, you could play a forward roll, which has several of the melody notes. Boil em cabbage, boil em cabbage down. When you go to that C note, of course the background chord is changing. That's why it's important to know that the chords change and what they are, because those will be your fill-in notes. Down. Then, we can find these melody notes in other locations on the neck. The open second string could also be found as the fourth fret on the third string, so often people slide into that note. This C melody note can also be found as the fifth fret on the third string, and that is used in a melodic break. And the melodic break for most of you will be the most difficult break, so the second variation being the most difficult, you always pick and choose your variations that you hear other people play and use ones that work for you. So if that one's too tricky, move on to some of the others. Continuing with the idea that you can find the melody notes in different locations on the neck, you could also find this B note an octave higher up here at the ninth fret on the first string. At that point, I'm doing a backward roll and going to the C chord that's up here. Many of you would know that as the F shape C chord. So there's the B note and the C note in that position. One last position to investigate before we just play the whole thing for you is up here at the 12th fret, you have your B note, an octave higher than the open B string. And you can play a break as simple as just playing your Foggy Mountain Roll. Put down the notes you need for a C chord up there, but you only need them on strings 1 and 2 because your roll only plays those strings. Back to the G. Then I'll move down two frets. It seems if you were on a G, you'd have to move down five frets to get down to a D but these two notes are out of a D7. So throughout the song, we're interchanging D, D7. Either one works just fine. One last thing to know about Boilem Cabbage Down is it gets performed as if you are doing a verse and a chorus, both with the same melody, both with the same chords. But that means that each idea that we play, we will play it twice, we'll repeat it. So here now is the original melody plus the five variations. 
If you need to hear it slowed down, use the YouTube feature of slowing it down and have a lot of fun.